I'm Amy from Diary of Tractor Girl and it is Saturday the 15th of September and I'm on my way to Hull. Um, another Yorkshire game, really looking forward to it. I uh, haven't been to Hull for a while and today we are venturing in Hull further than we normally do because there is a lovely um, away fans pub like opposite the stadium which we normally go to but today we are going to the marina um, so it's actually a really nice part of Hull. I know, can you believe there actually is a nice part of Hull? Um, so I'm just about to get the train. I've just had breakfast with my friend Mark who's also based in Leeds and we're now about to get the train and head over to Hull and enjoy the delights of the former city of culture. So come join me. Lovely George, Huddersfield fan, Hi. who spent the whole afternoon with Ipswich fans. I know. Love Ipswich fans, they're great. <laughs> also calling us knobheads quite a lot. I did not. I did not. <laughs> well, um, so what's your score prediction for today? I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw. Not entertaining in the slightest. <laughs> I think we're used to that here. Martin, school prediction? Probably get beat one now. That's the campus point of view. How many Ipswich fans are going to say that? What do you think the school prediction is going to be? Christ. Nil-nil. Nil-nil. 3-2 to Ipswich. Oh, I like that. Five goals. We'll have that, Mark. 2-1 Ipswich for my sins. That's really positive. No, that was not positive for no. me. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I hope it's 2-1, but it's probably not going to be 2-1. <laughs> Right, Martin, you've been to um, a lot of games this season. What are you expecting this season? What are you expecting today? Today? I'm not later. expecting anything today. I'm <laughs> expecting. I'm expecting just to... I'm expecting two terrible sides, to be quite honest. Um, we'll probably get beat, but we shouldn't do that. Hull, Hull have lost six, what, six on the bounce at home. Terrible. So who knows? Simon, where are you? Because I got a really good bit of video off you off last Did time. You? Oh, okay. Yeah. When we went to Lee's away, what are you expecting today? Um, well, hope and expectation are different things, but I'm hoping that we take our chances better, that we're more clinical in front of goal, that some of the young lads actually get a bit of confidence from just putting the ball away, because I don't think we're as bad as our position in the league actually shows it. I completely agree, you said I that this think week. We're on to something as long as we keep our cool. Yeah. I'm hopeful. I expect to win 2 one. Don't expect. <laughs> I hope to win 2 one. <laughs> well, I think that, I reckon that like, if we can just get one win, I think then it'll go on a roll. We could. And it'll be like, we just, we've got over that, so now we'll keep going. And I agree with you about, we're doing things the right, the right way, finally but we're still going to have like crap pull away, aren't we? Because that's all we ever have. No, uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen us win it. I'd like to see Jackson or Harrison score. Yeah. Neither, is, neither is starting. I want to see Johnny Walters I score. Still, I'm yeah, going to be on the pitch. That's the point that now you drop people to the bench. This happened with Thomas Briskin and Roy Keane. You don't, you don't want to see that happen. You want to see these guys score. Okay, um, also, what do we think about uh, Gherkin versus Bart Biakowski? There's not a lot between them really. Um, I'd, I'd pick Bart myself, but there's not a lot between them, so it's no big deal. Do you really think that? There's not a lot between them. I would pick Bart, but there's not a lot between them. I think Bialkowski's better across his area. Yeah. I think he's, um, his understanding of where he is on a pitch. And, and Gherkin's quite good. They're both good shot stoppers. Uh, yeah, and yeah. saving shots. I think uh, Crosses, you know, better crosses Gherkin area. makes yeah. you feel very worried.
Yeah. Right, guys, um, out of 10, how do we rate today? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Given that Julie is the most positive person in the world, I think that says everything. Not my I, love that, I love that optimism there, 4 out of 10. It's not my first away game all season. The first game I've been to. Wasn't a good one to pick. No, I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, if you were Paul Hurst, what would you do? I would strengthen the midfield. How would you do that? Well, exactly, we can't. You, we can't. <laughs> you know, it'd be nice to have Roxy. Who's back in the middle? Um, maybe. I think Downs is super I think they need to because John Walters is 34 years old now and he ain't, he ain't going to be out to keep oh. running and there he is. He's there for, to help the youngsters out. It's not just himself. Well that's it, we had uh, youngsters again, didn't we? Downs played, what did you think? I thought Downs had a poor game today, to be honest with you. He gave the ball away for the first goal. Um, didn't really do a lot else as far as I can see. But a bit of pushing and shoving really, yeah. but... And the other big one before the game was uh, what what goalkeeper he'd play. So what did you think of Gherkin? I think he's done alright to be fair. He made a few good saves. He made some good saves. Okay, so two more games coming up this week. Brentford and then Bolton. What are we going to get out of those two? Well, I'll, 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 <laughs> But I can't see us getting no. anything on Tuesday. Oh, no. I can't see us getting a point. No, I can't see us getting anything. I reckon, I, uh, quite definitely, I think we'll. I think we'll. It'll be a struggle, but I think we'll. No, it'll be okay. yes and no, but I'd like to say the worst thing is we'll probably lose both games. Maybe. So I couldn't post a video this week without saying a few words about Kevin Beatty um, and how sad I was to hear that he's passed away. Um, although I wasn't lucky enough to see him play, I of course have heard lots about him and have been really enjoying the memories that people have been posting of meeting a guy that genuinely was just really, really nice, um, as well as amazing um, and a legend on the pitch. I did have the privilege of meeting him. Um, he managed one of the sides in a charity football match that I helped organise a few years ago. Um, and he genuinely, absolutely made everybody's day, turning up, giving the lads advice, giving them some you know, encouragement, words of encouragement. After the game, he actually took the time to give each one little pointers and little bits of um, advice, like I say, on what they could do to build on the game and things like that. Just incredible to get that from such an amazing player um, I was so happy for them seeing the little smiles on their faces afterwards um, and then after the game I went through to the bar where um, I had heard that he was funnily enough um, and was really looking forward to sharing a pint with uh, with the beat it was really nice um, I walked into the room and he looked around at me looked me up and down and said blimey you're tall you could be Ipswich left back and I was like Oh, all right then. <laughs> so um, really happy memory for me as well. Um, and what I've done is I've dug out some pictures from that day um, just to hopefully make those of you who were there smile remembering him um, and hopefully the tribute at tonight's game will be just as heartwarming.